everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. I know usually we do get it off your chest, but today's a special day. What's we're, the day? It's Change for Change, right? Now, if you don't know what Change for Change is, this is our third year of doing it. The first year we did it for what, Charlemagne? We did it for the Gathering for Justice Movement, which is Harry Belafonte's organization. Mm-hmm. Uh, we raised over 700 grand, I believe. Right. Stuck. Yesterday was, I mean, last year was Project. 375. Yep. Brandon Marshall's organization to eradicate the stigma around mental health. That's right. And this year, we're here for the Third Good Marshall College Fund, which is the nation's largest organization representing the black college community through scholarships, programs, and more. Now, we have two execs from the organization, Harry Williams and George Spencer, with us this morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, bright and early? Yes. Bright and early. <laughs> now, for people that don't know, what does the organization do and why are we trying to raise so much money for the organization this morning? Well, let me kick it off. Uh, first of all, thank you for allowing TMCF to be here this morning. Um, my son is a sophomore at Howard University. And he's up bright and early <laughs> listening to his daddy on the radio today. So sorry, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gavin, what's his name? Gavin, Gavin Williams. I'm Gavin sorry for Williams. you, Gavin. I'm, I'm sorry for you, Gavin. <laughs> Envy, we're all coming together today. All right, you're right. Well, he told me, so I heard the Envy was at HU. I know there's a big competition between who's the real HU. So today, I'm in your house. So your <laughs> HU is the real HU. Now, no, don't bow down just because you're in front of him. Don't you do that. There you go. Your son is very disappointed. He turned the radio off. Yeah. Well, I'll take care of him when I see him later on. But uh, you said you take his head when you see him later on. I'll take care of him when you I see him. Oh, <laughs> what? I'm like, everybody's shooting at your trap too. Uh, right? It is. So let's talk about this organization. It is great to be here. I'm the president and CEO of the Third Grade Marshall College Fund, and, and we are so delighted to be here because what you're doing today, you are making a major difference in the lives of so many students. Mm-hmm. Uh, over uh, 70% of our students are the first ones in their family to go to college. Mm-hmm. They are uh, come from communities where they are, uh, the schools are would be classified as first generation low income, meaning mm-hmm. that they need the funds. So today when we're talking about raising money, we're talking about changing lives. So We are so, so happy. We represent all of the HBCUs here today, and we're Mm -hmm. so delighted. So this scholarship will benefit those students. And believe it or not, uh, $5,000 makes a major, major difference. Yes, sir. $5,000 is a big difference to these students. So uh, we're so grateful. George George Spencer, who is my uh, exec revenue guy here. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah, so uh, I'll just add one thing. Um, You know, we started a scholarship fund back in 87, uh, Dr. Joyce Payne actually walked into Thurgood Marshall's office, or mm-hmm. Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall's Correct. office, and asked him to uh, to be able to utilize his name. And um, you know, he the story is that uh, that that he agreed to do it, but he said he wouldn't give a dime to it, but we could utilize his name. Okay, uh, and therefore have been able to do such uh, in a fashion, starting off as, uh, with scholarships. But what we say is, we don't only want to get students to school; we want to help them. Um, get through school, right? right? And so we provide leadership training and development amongst other programming to help students uh, get or become globally competitive. Why didn't he want to give a dime? Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know that. Well, yeah. the bottom line, yeah, he, yeah. he was a Supreme Court justice, as yeah. you know. They don't make a lot of money. Yeah. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah, back yeah. then, uh, he was a two-time uh, graduate. Graduated number one in his class at Lincoln University in Pennsylvania, and he graduated top of his class at Howard University of Law. So when he we asked him if we could use his name, he was uh, very, very uh, supportive of that. Correct. And what George didn't mention, we've been here for 32 years, and we've been fortunate and blessed by using his name. We re- we raised more than $300 million wow. by using his name. Yeah. So, wow, wow, wow. So his name, ma- that name yeah. matters. So, so how does it so, get to the schools? How do y'all determine what schools How, how do you to? qualify to be able to get the scholarship? Now, now, if you just joined us, we're talking to the execs for th- the Thurgood Marshall College Fund, which we're raising money from. We're here to midnight, and you can text CHANGE to 52182 or hit up the website BCCHANGE, the number four, change.com. Well, Continue, fellas. We have an application process, mm-hmm. and, and for this particular scholarship, you have to have a GPA of 3.0, okay. uh, meaning that you have to be competitive. Then you go through that process. Annually, we receive anywhere from fifteen to 20,000 applications uh, for students applying to, to get these uh, uh, dollars. Uh, unfortunately, we, we can only, uh, we've only we been awarding about 600 scholarships because mm-hmm. uh, we have a big demand out there uh, mm-hmm. in terms of those dollars. So Although this that's is still very help. fortunate. I yes. wouldn't say unfortunate. 600 is great. Yeah, 600, 600 out of 20,000. Yeah. But, you know, it's still, 
this right here is going to help. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to award even more Correct. by getting these dollars here. So that's that's the big thing. And we can allow these students to stay in school so they can graduate and be productive what citizens. About, what about the actual schools? Like, how did the schools get money? Because, you know, that's the one problem with HBCUs. A lot of people think that the facility facilities aren't the best and things of that nature. Does this any of this money go to the schools? Well, no, actually, it'll go direct to the students. That's good. Uh, That's and so when mm -hmm. it goes to the students, it'll go to the school. Right. Gotcha. The students have to pay the to students. Pay. Right. Now, uh, let me ask you this. So what's the website for people to go on to apply so that they know how they can and TMCF. get all the TMCF.org. Mm -hmm. TMCF.org. And, fellas, we appreciate you for joining us. Thank yeah, you so this much is important for explaining it. Because a lot of people always call us up and ask, like, I want to go to college, but I can't afford it. Do you know of any grants? Do you know of any way that I can get a, a scholarship? So people always ask that. So tmcf.org. That's All right. correct. Well, thank right. you so much. And if you're out there, it's time. We need your bread, your money. doesn't matter what it is, 5, 10, 15, 20. You can text CHANGE to 52182 or visit bcchange, the number 4 change.com. Now, ye. Yes, DJ Envy. We got rumors on the way? Yes, we are going to be talking about money, money, money. We'll tell you who we should hit up for some money because this person just spent $25 million on a new house. All right, oh, we got to call them right now this morning. <laughs> yeah, Let's right. see if we got their number. We'll get into that next. Keep it locked. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. 